Okay, you can be on TV or on the internet. Obviously, Nancy, my invisible cat that only lives in the basement because she's a, a hermit. Um, Prepper Nurse One here, everybody. How are you tonight? Um, I'm going to do the rest of my videos from the weekend from the property. They'll go up over the next several days, but I had to do a video on this. Um, Clive and Bundy and uh, his uh, the ranch out in Nevada has been grazing his cattle out there for 20 years. Uh, well, no, uh, let me rephrase that. He's been grazing his cattle out there forever and a day. Um, regenerations is what he said. And the government, for the last 20 years, he's refused to pay them grazing fees. And the government says that he owes over $1 million in grazing fees. So they were getting his cattle, and they started that April 7th, um, going out there and rounding up this man's cattle, and they had over 400 head of his cattle. And one of the things that they did, um, they were rounding up these cattle with helicopters, and um, and it's in the birthing season, so I think there's at least 18 calves, they said, that uh, are like orphaned calves now, because they, they can't keep up with the mothers when they were being run off with these helicopters. Um, I guess one of his sons, uh, Dave Bundy, was arrested for refusing to disperse and resisting arrest. Um, there was a couple other protesters that were arrested, but um, the BLM is the uh, the uh, the Bureau of Land Management. That's who the BLM is, and uh, so they are imposing their will with uh, Gestapo-like tactics. And um, this is a part that I really, really enjoyed. You had uh, you had a lot of the um, militia came down there and other people to help these people out and, uh, you know, stand up for American citizens from this tyranny of our government that happens all the time. And uh, the government backed down. And uh, I just thought that was freaking awesome. And uh, I think that's a wonderful thing, you know. And, and here's another reason why they want to try to disarm us in our guise of safety. What if these people were not able to defend themselves um, and just stand up for themselves, you know, with weapons and say, hey, listen, you're not doing this, this is not right. Uh, what would they have done then? The government would have beat them down, tasered them, um, done all these type of things. But uh, people in this country stood up and they said, you know what, this is ridiculous, this is not right, and good for them. And uh, I'm makes me proud to be an American today when I see something like that, people standing up to when they think something is wrong. And you know what, if this guy's been... His family and generations of people have been grazing their cattle. Now all of a sudden the government decides, you know, however long ago, that they need to pay grazing fees? Come on. I mean, you know, it's just another way to screw the, the hardworking people of this country. And good for them for refusing to pay those taxes. And uh, good for them for standing up and uh, doing the right thing here. I just think it's fantastic. I mean, it's like... You know, the government just keeps taking and taking and taking and taking. And you know what? Hardworking people are getting sick of it. And uh, I just want to applaud everybody out there for, you know, standing up and uh, saying, no, enough is enough. And uh, if more of that happens, maybe this country can get on the right path to the way it should be again. Um, I just, you know what? It's awesome. I mean, I just, I, I saw the militia out there and other just average citizens carrying her guns and saying, you know what, enough is enough, you know, and uh, I just think it's awesome. Um, something else, uh, you know, I know they were saying that the guy owed over a million dollars in back taxes for this 20-year period of these grazing fees, and he said, no, I'm not paying it, and uh, it's Clive and Bundy, and like I said, one of his sons was arrested, and I believe they did release him, um, but, uh, you know, and they said several protesters were arrested. That's before, like I said, the militia came in there and they basically allowed the government to leave after they released the cattle, which I just thought it was freaking great. I'm sorry, but you know what? If, if you think I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but I just I just think it's a wonderful thing that people standing up and saying enough is enough. We need more of it in this country because these people just think that they can do whatever they want. They're like Nazis. They act, you know, you, you have this secret police that's going to come through and, and decide what's okay and what's not okay. And, uh... You know, it's just, it's crazy. But anyway, God bless you, Clive and Bundy and your family, and I'm glad that the government uh, backed down. It's awesome. I'm glad to see it. And uh, I just had to put a video up of this up. I just, uh, 
I saw that the conclusion of it, how it went today, and I just think it's awesome. You know, I just, good for you. I mean, and, uh, you know, I'm glad that people are standing up, like I said, and saying enough is enough. And, uh, you know, we need more people to do it. All right? So that's it for now. Um, thanks for listening. I just had to put this out there real quick. I'll have more videos coming up tomorrow from the weekend. Um, had a great time. And I got a surprise twist in my next video. I'll be talking about that. And uh, it's a, something else, a new plan coming up. But I'm, the building thing hasn't changed. But I got a new twist of what I'm planning on doing up there. So that will be discussed in the video tomorrow. And I uh, hope you enjoy. Thanks a lot for listening. Prep on this one out for now.